feel was harder? Kind of having that manicness under the skin subtly trying to come out or that full-blown feeling? It was all hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was all easy. <laughs> A little insight into your day-to-day life, is that what that is? Probably. Um, I found the hardest part. Uh, the, the down times. Because it's not, you know, the other thing's so fired up and lit. You know, you got rhythm, and your body's awake. And in terms of depression, you know, it's not, it's not a very active state. So sort of um, having any confidence that anything that you're doing is coming across is not, yeah, not easy. Uh, that's that's that was you know. Yeah. Now obviously you had Paul as a as a kind of backup if you needed kind of any, you know, just an extra feeling for what was going on. But did you want to reach out beyond that and get your own kind of research done or your own feelings what you would kind of portray? Now obviously you had Paul as a as a kind of backup if you needed kind of any. You know, just an extra feeling for what was going on, but did you want to reach out beyond that and get your own kind of research done or your own feelings of what you would kind of portray? Absolutely, and uh, that's part of the process of creating a character. It's, you know, reading a lots, lots of books on the subject matter and mapping out how you're going to achieve this kind of character because it's, it's also, it's not just... Um, portraying an illness, there's a person. And that's what hopefully this movie does illuminate. Mm. But you you have to figure out who that character is first and then um, how this illness is affecting what's already there. So there was reading a lot of poetry, there was a lot of a lot of prep, which is fun. As well for you, did you have to work on your rhyme skills a lot as well? Yeah, but I've been doing that all my life. <laughs> <laughs> what about Paul as a director? Was it exa- exactly what you were expecting at all, or different? I didn't. I don't know that. I, I don't know that there was a lot to expect. You know, it's always, always uh, it's always a lot will be revealed in the doing, and it it um, it's a fool's errand to <laughs> expect otherwise. Um, there were a lot of surprises and. Uh, I think for us it was, a, you know, what, what we had to figure out was a way to, as, as a unit, like, uh, to f- find rhythm with with these characters and, you know, just give them any sort of degree of authenticity. And Paul was there to kind of determine whether or not that's what we were doing. What about the, the condition itself? Was it a kind of a surprise to you maybe, or did you have a good background of what really this bipolar consists of? Well, I, I really... Um you know, when I met with Paul, I learned that this was based largely on his own experiences, and I really appreciated the fact that he has struggled with this and has gone through, I don't want to take the medicine, I don't want to lose my creativity, um, I'm numb to find, to being patient enough to find that balance and be able then to write his own story and to direct this film, which isn't easy. And he is, you know, it's not just a per, like, he's very talented, he's a wonderful filmmaker. So uh, being able to do something so personal and then put it on, uh, put it in a creative space, um, you know, he he did a wonderful job. So I, through him, I uh, appreciate the struggle, and I also appreciate the drive to figure it out and to do something that, that helps other people in his position.